Good morning and we're starting the vlog in the car. We're making our way to my workplace. We're moving office, so I'm so, so excited. I'm gonna see my office for the very first time today. We're moving more central London, which is gonna be awesome. I can just imagine how my social life is gonna be so much more active now that I've moved here. So much more potential to meet more people, to have a different setting. It's just like a refresh in your life that you need. I do you wanna leave the house because it's so freaking cold so i dragged out the warm furry scarf it's fake fur i went through a phase where i bought like everything fake fur like all my jackets now when i look at it it's just a bit ott a bit too crazy and we decided to wear a red lip today i don't know why i just want to feel like a boss ass bitch today my neck is looking a bit uh, suffocated <laughs> i'm gonna show you guys the office if i get a chance hopefully it'll be in a nice beautiful setting just gonna give me a lot more inspiration and motivation to get shit done jeez i look terrible so i am starting to get ready i literally just blow dried my hair we're going to the chris brown concert today something to look forward to we've got a little present that i need to sneak in for guang because his birthday's coming soon so i gotta pick up his birthday gift before i make my journey to the concert and i'm just rushing around i feel so tired i went for the gym and then i slept on the floor for the last hour so because i didn't want to fuck up the bed the bed was just looking too cute for me to fuck it up so i literally got an hour and a half to leave the door and you know me i take at least like three hours to get ready so i am panicking okay so i'm gonna rush and start getting ready and i'll show you the final look at the end Gosh, I don't even know what I'm wearing. So it may be just a black dress in the end. We are finally ready. I'm wearing something cream, something not too colourful, nude. It's very sexy vibe. I'm feeling a bit self-conscious because of my belly. I'm like, the rolls are rolling. And I literally just slathered on a little thin layer of fake tan. And I'm not washing it off and I can smell the fake tan on me. But literally, I have got no time to wash it off. So we are going as it is tonight. It's going to be a fun night. I did my hair. I love it when I have like these waves. I feel so glamorous. Anyway, we're going out to party. Hopefully there'll be an after party. Guys, I'm panicking. I've literally worn these boots for five minutes and my feet is in so much pain. I'm like, what the fuck am I going to do? I'm meant to be dancing all night as well. Okay, I'm trying to find my car. I don't know where the fuck I parked it. We're going to pick up Gwang's gift. So I secured a good. We bought him a headset and it's the Apple one and I've been eyeing this up and it's like 550. <gasps> I'm like thinking, is it worth it? Should I do it? They're sold out everywhere. I really want the silver ones. I think they look so sexy on a woman. What should I do? Should I refund? my existing one and then get a new pair but this is like an extra over 200 quid more than mine find out if guang's version is good quality and if it is i might have to do an exchange i'll get a dog to my mum's and my feet is hurting so much i'm gonna try and see if i can borrow my sister's shoes something that's comfy i can't be dancing all night in this i was not gonna go with my outfit i'm at an age now where i can't do this no more before it was looks over everything the image now my body can't handle it just walking down to the bus stop right now but i just want to say happy valentine's to everyone else out there i am celebrating with the girls single as ever sammy who's with a man she's spending it with us girl girl right there this is my friend and all my beautiful girls are all here the vibe. Wow. Look at the arena. I can't wait for my baby to come out. I am so physically and mentally trained right now. The Chris concert was amazing. No fault to it whatsoever. I can't believe how amazing he is live. Sometimes you get artists when they sing live, their voice cracks up and they don't sound what you hear on TV. But Chris Brown actually sounds like how he is on screen. He's got such a diverse collection of songs. The main songs that I know all day back in 2005, I only know all the old classics. It was such a vibe. I really 
really, really enjoyed it. There's a lot of controversy because obviously he's had this history and he was banned from the UK. And this was his first ever concert and performance in 14 years since he's banned. I also went to the very first night, the very first concert that he's actually put on since that band. And it was such an electric feeling. I was with all my girls. We were drinking, dancing. The vibe was just like on another level. And we also went to the Amax lounge funny enough i was in a lounge we was dancing and everything and some guys came and approached us i was talking and dancing with this one guy in the end he was like can i ask for your number i don't want to give up my number i said okay let's exchange social media and then see how we get along and take it from there so i typed my name on his phone went to my page and what do you know he's already following me isn't this like a moment when you're like wow the world is very small now that i'm thinking to myself i'm like you follow me and you see me in real life and you don't recognize me does that mean you think i'm a catfish it's just one of those moments where you think is this a, a compliment or not a compliment i am so glad that i took a day off i was literally in bed all day long and i'm still not recovered but i'm forcing myself to put a bit of red lipstick on and I sit and edit trying to get my mind in frame i feel so bad because i haven't stuck to my word about getting a video out this week and then i've always got some form of excuses coming up all the goals that i set for myself at the beginning of the year it's a bit of a letdown at the moment because i haven't stuck to any of those goals then i've been going out every single freaking weekend there's always been some plans and i'm spending more money than what i want to spend and it's just like one of those I need to get my shit together i'm announcing my friends that in march i don't want to go out and then what do you know like another exception to the rule comes oh give me a break there are certain things you have to prioritize but it makes me sad when i can't stick to my word it's making me reflect and think i'm that fucking shitty person now where i said to people that i'm gonna do certain things and i'm not gonna fucking stick to my word and that kind of grinds on my nuts at the moment. I'm really having to self-evaluate right now. So I was just saying to my friends, we just went out, did a bit of dancing, bit of drinking, and we feel like crap the next day. Imagine how Chris Brown must have felt. And he was at the club after party. How the hell has he managed that? He's put on a show, live up to people's expectation. He's singing, he's performing, he's doing rehearsing. After the show, he's going out. Here I am, moping and moaning about one night out, and he has to do it in consecutive days. And my friend said to me, I think if you have a bit of coke in your system you'll be able to conquer it all and i'm like shit is that how they do it gosh i need some of that <laughs> my feet is still sore and numb you get to a certain age where your feet tells you what your age is who have we got to the guys <laughs> i'm officially a gym girl now look, look at these games <laughs> she's been really consistent for the last how long three weeks guys me and i've been going to the gym for three weeks and i don't say that i love it quite yet but i'm getting into a routine now i've got gym buddies to go with and i was literally just saying to Graham that this is the first time i've gone to the gym and actually done weights all the other time i've always done cardio or classes go so strength training will really transform your body if you want to recomposition your body that's what you need to do cardio will get you skinny fat the only thing is me and my sister was talking about the diet situation because that is the bit that all of us find the hardest i feel like going to the gym is fine literally we were just talking about the olive oil two tablespoons of that is 260 calories and i've been slurring that on every time i fry garlic and that is a whole meal within itself yeah, so we need to change and it's so hard also to get the amount of protein that you need as well so i've been getting advice from this girl that goes to the gym and she's like a pro at this so for my body weight i need to have 161 gram of protein and you need 120 gram of protein yeah but we're literally just saying that one chicken breast is like 25 grams I'm like, where are you going to get the rest of the grams of protein, girl? That's impossible. We are on a trying session regarding some protein mixes. If you know any, comment down below. Yeah. The only thing is, though, me and my sister hate the taste of milk and dairy. So if there's any that actually tastes decent and more on, like, the fruity side, let us know. We are heading out this evening. We're going to celebrate Sammy's birthday. We're going to a place called Guru Guru. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's like an Asian infusion restaurant. It's in Convent Garden. I'm so looking forward to it because I'm so, so hungry. I spent the afternoon with my sister and now I'm running so late. I lost track of time. I was like busy on my computer, busy on my phone. And then the next thing I know, I had an hour to get ready. I'm wearing like a blue dress. It looks cute. I feel like I'm rushing, so I don't feel cute. It is what it is. But we are rushing out the door as per usual. I need to drop off the dogs to my mum's. But I will show you once I get to the venue and we're going to have a good old time together whilst we're celebrating. I don't know what we're doing after dinner, but it's a very late evening meal and I'm going to stuff my face. Let me show you guys the outfit I'm wearing this turquoise two-piece and i've got a turquoise jacket to go with it so we're going to this location for dinner gora gora Covent garden this looks so pretty this street 
So we're here for the night. How cute is this location? So this is an Asian infusion. So we're located downstairs and we're here to celebrate this girl's birthday. That is a moment right there. To the birthday girl. <laughs> Camera eats first. So good. Happy birthday to Sammy. Cheers guys. I had a bit too much food and too much to drink. And we got my girlfriend Tammy here. Mwah. We do for a photo guys, freezing our ass off. Oh, Doesn't the birthday girl look so sexy? Nice. We're heading out for dinner this evening. I'm so excited. I've got a little date, a really unexpected date. Well, it's been arranged for the last few days. I'm going on a date with someone unexpected actually. So I'm looking forward to it, but he's picked one of the best locations. He knows I love Asian. So he's taking me to an Asian location. Brownie points are there. I'm running a bit late. I've got to drop my dogs off to my mom. And tomorrow I've actually got lunch with the girlfriends. So I think I might end up staying at my mom's overnight so that it's easier to commute to London tomorrow. But we are wearing white today. I went for a very neutral makeup, which I'm kind of feeling. Okay, we're heading out. Excuse the messiness. But today I just feel a sense of really heavy heart and just a lot of sad, a lot of emotions that is just going through my mind. I just had a dream this morning and it really triggered off a lot of emotions and it made me realize how much trauma i've been through and how i've not digged into those past trauma to help me heal obviously all the experiences that i've been through has made me a stronger person i was just messaging my girlfriends from those messages i was weeping crying and i don't want to replay any of those moments because it was a sense of vulnerability and something sad and something very personal to me that i disclosed to my friends just opening up but that story about my experiences made me feel so much more closer to my friends. I always thought that I've overcome this trauma because I don't think about it day to day. I feel that it never holds me back in my day to day living. So this dream that I had this morning when I woke up, I was like crying once my eyes opened and I was just weeping. I just couldn't stop. I touched my pillow and it was drenched. It was so wet and it was drenched in tears. The first thing I did was message my friends. It was so vivid. It was so real. It felt like I was experiencing it. I was screaming at the top of my lungs. You know that it touched base with like your reality. That's why it's so sensitive and that's why you was crying so much. But when you instantly wake up, you forget that dream. Throughout the day, I was just thinking about that dream, thinking about that dream deeper into it. Certain things that happened in my childhood has resurfaced and it made me feel so weak so ashamed there's a lot of regrets and things that happen that made me feel like have i overcome this i thought i've overcome it because i don't think about it and i thought i've forgiven the person but yet i still feel a lot of hatred against the person Do you know i'm going round and round about and you guys don't even know what the story is and you guys won't understand it but it's just such a dark sad day today and i just don't know how to shift this emotion away okay it's making me sad now thinking about it again don't know if i mentioned to you guys but i went on a date on saturday and the date went pretty well today i don't know why i'm going through the sense of emotion i just don't want to be alone and what a perfect timing this person's reached out to me and said that do you want to hang out today this is like a little miracle a little godsend that's just like a message to me to say you don't need to be alone today there's someone here to help you make you feel less alone today i've taken up an offer and he's gonna take me to the cinema which i'm really really excited about he sent me a few options regarding to films and i'm like huh what about magic mike no magic mike why is that not on the list and somehow i've uh, twisted his arms and made him go and watch magic mike with me so we're gonna do that this evening and hopefully that will bring a bit of joy to my life i just want to send a message out to everyone that's feeling lonely and that feel like you're going through a midlife crisis and feel like you've got no one to turn to because these dark times will really challenge you mentally and make you have wild thoughts of suicide thoughts of being a failure thoughts of being alone thought of no one cares about you and all i have to say is you'll be surprised by reaching out to people how much better you will feel and how much support and love there is actually out there so don't ever go through it alone i thought i'd just take five minutes to send that message out so let's conquer the remaining of today and hopefully my date will bring a smile to my face we are ready i've put on a free 
orange and we're wearing blue for the evening. I actually feel a lot better now that I've got my makeup on and I feel a bit more cuter and more alive. Clearly I got a bit overexcited and got ready already. Chanel, you want to make a little appearance? You want to say to the vlog? Hello, little Chanel here. She's so attached to me. Oh guys, I didn't tell you what my date got me for our first date. Oh my God, how cute is this? Let me show you. I got a blue orchid. How cute is this that he got me a gift? Matching vibes today. We nicknamed her Blue. Also, oh my God, got me this teddy bear. How sweet is that? For a first date for someone to get that for you, it's really thoughtful and really sweet. But it makes me question, do you do this for every girl? By you getting an orchid for me, you know that this is one of the hardest plant to maintain. So don't ever expect to see it bloom again. I've actually been doing some research on how I can maintain this bitch. I will keep you guys updated to see whether the love is still alive or dead. Every single time I'm dating you guys, it's in the same freaking room. But last time I picked up the camera, I was feeling really sad and down and I went on a little date and I have to say that that date has made me like this person so much more. I never thought that I would get this like really happy, could you be the one type of feeling. Could there be someone so thoughtful out there that person does exist? So it really heightened my feeling and I don't know whether that's because obviously I was feeling very sensitive so therefore it kind of exacerbated that feeling of being wanted, being needed and being cared for. So I feel like I need to like dive myself back into reality and then go on more dates and see how I actually feel because sometimes you can just get disillusioned by you know the fairy tale story but it was definitely a fun night I think we get along so well funny enough we've been on quite a few dates since our first engagement together oh my god this is crazy we've been on four dates within seven days and we was tempted to go out on Friday that would have been five times a week he'll certainly be beating my dating records of seeing someone so many times after conversing within one week yeah it was definitely interesting and i've been enjoying my time that i've been spending with him and he's just so different to what i would normally go for and guys so far so good i should be jumping for joy but also having said that so we've been on quite a number of diverse dates we went for a meal i remember the very first time i met him which was like the chris brown concert at the end of the night he got me a rose every single time that i've seen him he's got me something even though it's small but it's very like thoughtful and that's like a beautiful thing for a guy to have right because you rarely find a guy that's so thoughtful yesterday he got me chocolate we went up london the other day we we actually did a gym date which was very unusual and which is never like me it was a very nice evening and i discovered how ambitious he was how driven he was how passionate he is about his goals and it really gave me a kick up the boot side my self-sabotaging mode comes in full effect and after that i was like having doubts i'm like is this the person right for me because i feel like there's this pressure when someone's so successful or someone that's so determined so ambitious and then i think it makes me reflect on myself that i'm not the this person i don't have these characteristics can i make this person happy and it makes me question whether me and him are compatible can i be the person backbone that can push him to do all these things it makes me self-doubt myself and i have to smack myself out of that energy if someone's ambitious someone is doing all this they're doing it for you doing it for us if we get into a relationship <laughs> i'm speaking very far ahead here why am i in sabotaging mode and start thinking all these negative things like thinking i'm not good enough for the person when i'm more than fucking good enough yeah it's just one of those food for thoughts i had to rewind it with my friends because i was going through an anxiety attack the other day i don't know what it is is it at the time of the month is all over the place my friend really said some words to me that really pushed things into perspective telling myself you're overthinking things you're stopping opportunities from happening before it's even grown that depth. You're just overthinking everything. So stop it and enjoy the moment. You're going to have new experiences. If it doesn't lead anywhere, it doesn't lead anywhere. Don't think about it. Just enjoy the moment. It's been an awesome week. Uh, we're going to end the vlog right here. Go through some of the mental challenges that I have to face in the last week. I don't know what it is, whether it's become my age. They do say that the older you get when you reach like in your mid 30s to 40s, you go through a midlife crisis. Is this my midlife crisis i don't know but whatever it is we're gonna overcome it i hope you guys enjoy this week's vlog make sure you like and subscribe and i will see you guys next week i love you